Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today is another in the Mission Builder series and I'm going to show you how to use the new draw tool. Many of you will have figured it out already but some won't so I'm hoping that you'll find this video useful. So let's crack on. Okay so here we are in the Mission Editor and as you can see I've already put some drawing elements down on a particular map just to show where yellow section had to taxi where they had to wait for ground control clearance and where they had to wait for ATC clearance. So where is the drawing tool? Well basically it's down here in the bottom left hand corner you just click on draw and you're presented with the draw panel. Let's run through it step by step. So here if it's highlighted by select I can click on one of these items. If I want to draw a line, a polygon, a text box or an icon on the screen I would select one of these boxes. Each time you select one of these boxes or select an element on the screen, its properties are listed here below. The next section is the layers section. And as Wags alluded to in his video, it's basically acting like a PSD type file or an XCF file where you've got various layers of, on the image that you want. You can create images by selecting the various levels if you wish. I've created all these in Author, which is highlighted here. You can select them for viewing by all factions, neutral faction, blue faction or red faction. And you can select and create them individually here by clicking on. So if I wanted to, uh, to draw something on the screen where I wanted everybody to see it, you could select Common. Now I selected author. Now I'll explain that uh, a little bit later on because you can change all of this to be viewed by various factions. So what do we have next? We have the objects box and that essentially is everything listed that you draw on screen here. And you can move its position if you wish with these buttons here. And what I tend to do is, I tend to name everything so I know what I'm wanting to change, delete, display to which faction. So I can easily do that with naming conventions. And the next element on this draw panel is the hidden on F10 map. Now this is kind of a, uh, a bonus really. So you can select whom sees what on the screen. So if you don't want the spectators to see any of these elements, which you might not in a particular multiplayer mission, then you can select red, blue and neutral factions. And the spectators won't be able to see these marks on the F-10 map. You can also do it for the observer, artillery commander, JTAC operator, pilot and instructor. So there we go. That is the basic draw panel. Let's move on to creating some of those drawings. So let's move on to the line tool. So I click on the line and I'm presented with these elements here. So we've got segments, plural, segment or free draw. With segments you've got the opportunity to draw various segments like so. And that's how you would do the segments. When you want to finish it just double click and then the boxes will appear around it. So I want to delete that. So then we go back to line. If you wanted segments but you wanted it as a closed section type segment you would click and tick the close box and then you would depress your mouse button and draw it and you can then release the mouse button and spread it to where you want then click again and then click again. Click again, click again double click, double click and your drawing is done. So let's delete that. Just simply press the delete key. Then we go back to line. You've got the option to create a segment as well which is essentially one of these a single line. So what you would do is you would draw the line like so. No need to double click it just completes because you've set it down as closed. So we'll delete that. Go back to line then you've got free draw, so you can essentially 
create a line like that and then move the various white boxes where you want to put them essentially and that's free draw so let's delete that we'll create a standard segment line this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce its thickness down to 4 I'm going to make it a dash it will be closed so when I draw it here we go we've got a dashed line there at any stage while that's on the screen you can edit it so if I wanted to reduce the thickness down to 3, 2, whatever if I want to change it to a cross or if I want to change it to square you can do it all at the same time whilst that is being highlighted because it's in select mode at that particular point so that is your line drawing tool let's move on to the polygons so now we'll move on to the polygon tool simply select the box and we get a drop down so we can draw circles ovals rectangles we can free draw or we can create an arrow again very similar to the line drawings everything can be manipulated when it's on the screen here so let's just say I want to create an arrow so I draw an arrow like that by placing it on the screen and depressing the left mouse button and then releasing. Once released you get the white box at its nose end which means that you can then manipulate it from there. So you can scale it and move the mouse around and make changes as you see fit. What I didn't show you last time was your ability to change the colours. So you could change it to a white outline like so and then you could change the internal colour to whatever you wanted. So let's go with the blue. On this particular variant for the polygons you can increase the angle. So you can either type in here what angle you want to put in. So if I say 45 it will change to 45 degrees. You also have the option to select the arrows and manipulate it singularly like so. Again you have the ability to, whilst it's on screen, because it's, it's now in select mode, that you just press the delete key and it, dis and it will disappear. So once you've come out of there, you can press the delete key and it will disappear. So let's go back to the polygons. This time we'll draw a circle. Again, depress the mouse button, release, and there's the circle. You can manipulate it size-wise by clicking on one of the white squares or you can click on its center and move it round. Now that's the circle tool so we'll delete that and it's very much the same for the oval, the rectangle, the free draw and the arrow. So we can press delete. So what I'll do is I'll put in a rectangle this time like so and we have the rectangle. Now you'll notice that I'm doing all of this in author now I know that's Polygon 3 and it's named Polygon 3 here so I can click on it there I can now change it to what layer I want it to be at so if I want everyone to see it I would select Common and it would change it Polygon 3 to Common I can also do it for Neutral and I can do it for Blue and I can do it for red. So that's how basically you would change something that you wanted to view via certain factions. You can do it here or you can do it when you've created everything as an author and then change it. So I'm going to change it back to author. There we go. And that's how you can manipulate all the layers that you put on here. Let's move on to the text box. Now here's the text box selection and it is very simple and straightforward. You type in your text here so I'm going to say stop. I can increase or decrease its font size, I can change its colours, I can change its angle and I can change its thickness. All of which I've shown you in all of the other elements. But Let me put, put it on screen now. So if I click here there it is, stop. So I can change it to a white outline and leave it at red. And there we go. We can manipulate it and move it round by clicking on its centre 
or we can click the box and grab it up to you if you want to change its font size let's take it down to 12 and it increase it decreases the size of the box at the same time if you want to change its angle as previously type in 45 I can put it at 45 degrees or I can change them individually by clicking each arrow decrease the thickness of the line that it appears in so we'll take it down to 2 and there we go a stop sign so let's delete that and that's how you create a text box so now let's move on to the icons selection okay so now we'll move on to the icons and at the moment there is a limited selection so they will be I use Russian um, symbols because it's much easier when you do a mission build you haven't got um, funny shapes or large shapes all over the map and it's much easier to see the, the, the Russian symbols so that's why I use, utilize that so whatever selection you've selected in your uh, preferences will be displayed so if you have NATO you will see NATO style you can change the angle you can change the color and you can scale them also clicking on this box will give you a list it's limited at the moment because it's work in progress but these will be filled out so what I can do is I can click on that icon there and I can place it on the screen I can change its color to whatever I want and I can scale it so I can take it up to five if I wanted to or take it down to three or one whatever your preference is and that is the icon selection tool like I say limited application at the moment because the, the styles are not all complete but they will be shortly so that's the icons what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through the change process in a little bit more detail because I want certain people to be able to see this and certain elements I don't want them to see and then I'll take you into mission and we'll open the F10 map and see how that worked out so let's do that now so I've shown you this before but I'll show you it again in a little bit more detail I want to change the vast majority of these so that only the blue faction can see them what I'm going to omit is this no entry sign here and here so that won't be displayed on the F10 map just to show you how it would work so parking I want as blue I want that as blue icon as blue and you get the general gist so I'll come back and show you this once we're in sim but it helps to name the naming conventions make it a lot easier but at the, at the same time you can also see that when when you click on one of the object layers that the box appears that highlights it that that's the one we're actually amending don't want to change that one so we'll keep that as author okay that's done so now what we'll do is we will go into sim and I'll show you those marks appearing on the F10 map for the blue faction okay so now here we are in sim and I'm going to view the F10 map I've got voice attack so I'll be utilizing that so here we go option 10 as you can see everything that I displayed to the blue team is now visible on the map because I'm in a blue aircraft I made a mistake because I chose the no entry as a blue view rather than the actual crosshatch line but you can see that it worked because it's actually got rid of the no entry sign here and that's basically it for the draw tool I've utilized it because I want to show people where to taxi but there's many many opportunities and options available to you in your own mission builds so use it as you see fit so I hope that was helpful and useful and thanks for watching and I'll catch you later